please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. 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 Today's video takes us to Oneida, New York, where we find a frauder who has a few screws loose and is definitely a few fries short of a Happy Meal as he decides to record a business, a hair and nail salon business. Why? Why? I'm losing my mind over this nonsense. Let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy! We're over here at the New Trends Nail and Beauty Salon in the city. Today is the 23rd of September, 2024. We're going to be out here. We're going to get a little bit of pub or public photography here. We're going to see if these folks uh, record or respect our right to record in the public. Um, no, I don't need any help. Thank you. Just getting some pictures. Huh? Just taking some pictures. Okay. Inside the building? Uh, well, I mean, yeah. I mean, you can see right... I can see it with my eyes. You know what I'm saying? At least the kitchen. Like, that's where we see it. Yeah. Yeah. So I well, I mean, if you didn't want anyone looking in, you would probably just close your blinds, right? Well, we... Another example of why a frauditor does what he does. Because he's uneducated. What the hell is an immigrate? Immigrate? What the hell is an immigrate? Did you mean immigrants? Is that what you meant, frauditor? Well, what you meant and what you typed are two different things, sonny boy. Actually, don't have anybody like looking inside. So. Hey, but if somebody wanted to, the best thing to do would be to do what? Just close your blinds, right? So why would you be taking pictures? I'm just taking. I'm just. I'm actually. I'm working on a little bit of a story. Um, story is. Uh, illegal immigrants and the companies that hide them and the churches that hide them. Okay. So I'm just going around to the different businesses and just seeing if uh, who's working there. You know, um, where I live, uh, there's been a alleged that uh, some of the passports have been taken from some of the local Asian nail salons. Mm -hmm. So they're all like kind of working to get their passports back, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. just uh, just going out there and checking it out and seeing, you know, if I can. You know, see somebody with a no passport in there, that'd be great. <laughs> Not so great for you. That's a beautiful salon you got. Look at those chairs, you feel like a queen sitting in one of them. This is the idiot frauditor behind the camera. And I'll tell you one thing, a lot of immigrants who aren't quite citizens yet, yeah, they feel uneasy when people start talking about passports. You know, they might be in the United States legally and they've applied for residency, but they're not yet a United States citizen. And when you start talking about passports, they get pretty nervous, a-hole. Five minutes later. Oh, looks like we're going to get confronted. Oh, we got Cam Back Karen here. Let me guess, Cam Back Karen? Mm -hmm. I said, let me guess, Cam Back Karen? So, who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Huh? I said, who are you? Picture of my uh, I'm just here doing a story. Huh? Just here working on a story. What's that story? Recording start. I can't, well, I can't. I, I can't. I can't tell you the story because if I told you the story, you could get out ahead of it now, couldn't you? Why? What are stories? Who sent you and who are you? Who are you? I'm an owner of that building. What's your name? Trang. T R A N G. Okay. I'm. I'm working on a story, and your, your beauty salon. Your, your beauty salon and uh, other beauty salons are a part of it. This must be very unnerving for this woman. You know, she's a business owner. She's not from this country. She's just trying to make a dollar the honest way. And here we have this Yehu who can't find a real job. And he just wants to stand there and harass her for clicks and views. 
your pitiful little man. Who? That's all I wanted to tell you, ma'am. Huh? That's all I wanted to tell you, ma'am. I need to know who are you because it's on the building. I own the building. And okay, well, I'm going gonna, gonna to back up a little bit from you, okay? I call 911. Because you're a little close. Sir, the police are on their way. We don't need you. All right, yeah. That's cool. Nothing. I just want to be left alone, that's all. I just want to do my thing and be left alone, please. My thing. My building. It doesn't matter if that's your building or I not. Understand. I'm not in your I building. I'm not on your building. I'm not doing anything. No. I get it. I know what you're saying. Hello? Wow. Hello. Shut up. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing good. Hey, I got you can tell this guy's a hothead. I believe the frauditor has a death wish. Why would you mess around with this man? Clearly this is his wife and you're messing around with not only his wife, but his business. Whoa, that's cause for a good smackdown. So yeah, this is the owner of the building here, guys. What's your name, sir? My name's Dale Hines. Dale, nice to meet you, Dale. Rich. Rich? Yes. You don't even tell me any information they expect me to be cordial to you? Do you, what, do you, what, do you what, what, what makes you think I owe you an explanation for anything? Did I come up to you in front of your business, in front of your business and say, what are you doing? Yeah, it's one of those guys like you see on YouTube. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, so your best advice would be to turn your sorry ass around and walk away. See, see how he's treating me? Yeah, that's how I'm going to treat you, you because, because, because this, is how you're, this is how you're treating me. So please, just go away now. Yeah. 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 Oh, she's trying to. Yep. No, I'm... Yeah, I just... Yeah, he, he definitely wants a bad image. Yeah. 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 No, I get it. I get Unfortunately, it. this guy doesn't have that. These frauditors are all tough guys because they have a camera, but without their camera, they're just a pussycat. Yeah, because they can't uh, do anything about anything in life. That's why they're so frustrated. They can't find a job, they can't hold a relationship, they can't do anything in life. They're losers. A few minutes later. I told her why I'm here. Yeah, I did. Talk to the lady inside the building. I told her exactly why I'm here. Wow, what a hothead. He come up, he was all red. So this is one of those old entitled guys who thinks that they can uh, escalate everything. And then when they put their hands on you, they'll, uh, they'll say, oh, he made me do it. He made me do it. That guy's dangerous. Shut up, he says. Hello. Hi. Now let's go over for this one, guys. So this is something that we run into. Notice how the frauditor stayed across the street and kept his distance until the police arrived. Now he's got that courage built back up, right? Yeah, because the man won't do anything while the police is there. What a sissy boy. Quite a bit. Um, he's actually been around the city quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, we actually can't stop him from recording. Well, he was right He was right at the window recording inside the building. Just like this? Well, I own part of it. They, they are on. If he's over here on the sidewalk, this sidewalk, this is city sidewalk. No, I get it. I watch YouTube. I understand what he's doing. I know. So there's, you know, there's not a whole heck of a lot. As long as he's not, you know, <clears throat> physically bothering anybody or, you know, scaring your customers away or entering your well, building against your that. wishes. Well, he's doing Customers are asking what's going on. Well, I mean, they're, they're going on. They're going to ask what's going on. But So if he scares one away, then what? I mean, as long as he's not... I'm actually, not in control of anybody's feelings. And, and, and as long as he's not actually... You know, trying to are you, deter obviously. them away from coming into the business. Not even in control like of his own. Being disorderly or something mm -hmm. to that effect. If he was out here, you know, hooping, hollering, or you know, don't go in there, or, you know, making a scene like that, that would be something. Mm -hmm. Not only is this frauditor a smart ass with a smart mouth, but he's got big brass cojones too, doesn't he? Yeah, I would not have the cojones to stand there and talk like that to the business owner. Because the police will leave eventually, and then you'll be liable to a beatdown. But we can't stop him from standing okay. out here, standing. He was down with the other one down, down the other 
side of town and they no, go I get, I get what he's doing. So I'm working on a story about illegal immigrants and the people who hire them and the churches that hide them. Sad. That that's my story. Here, I mean, let, if, let me if tell you your story. That's I've my got, story. I've here. got three people that work for me. They're, they're none of them are illegal immigrants. Yeah, I know. I I don't I don't so I don't I don't I don't I don't, I don't, I don't doubt you. Then. I don't doubt you. <laughs> Um, if you're looking for that, I, I would suggest go on Madison Street. <laughs> Perfect. That is a good spot. Madison Street, yeah. yeah, yeah I had a guy down in Oneana. Same thing. No same same we, thing. Can, no can, can, can I shake your hand? In? Sure. All right. I have no problem yeah. with what you're doing. Right. Trust me. Well, there you go, good people. They shook hands and it's all over. Not on your Nelly. Let's roll the clip. Five minutes later. At least it's come and ask me. I agree with you. From but, but, her point of view as a female, I think just yeah. with me, me feeling. Yes, but who has to ask to exercise you know, you know, a right? You, you know what I mean? I'm on all, this all I'm just saying is from from a female's perspective, yes. I think just just being that her. I think just from her aspect and being that there's other females, I think they just got a little nervous seeing a man. Yeah, I, I get it. And when she came out to ask you, I think it just made her more nervous that you were just like, oh, I don't yeah, have but, to tell you. Well, I think that's the only. You but I did. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't tell. I didn't tell her, but I did tell the other. I'm not saying you do have to, but I think just. I'm saying where I sympathize as a woman. Some people take the rights things just to. Dude, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you don't, if if you if you don't push the rights, we're gonna lose them, guys. Talk to me right at the first time. We don't have any problem. I know. I know you. Fought for our rights, man. I okay. appreciate. I appreciate you. Yeah. You so you fought for you, to allow me to do what I'm doing. Oh, I do and didn't do that. And right. my name is like that. Yes. Yeah. I wonder, if, we don't wonder, have if, any wonder if you take a, a photo of her right? of her license plate. Now that's real concern. All of this discord because this yahoo is too lazy, too stupid, or just can't find a job. Why can't you find a job, frauded or why? Right. Well, no. That's what they're. So what are license what are license plate for? Public view for public viewing. For a woman, that's real concerning though, isn't it not? Yeah, that's why I mean, I'm not, answer, I'm not answer just my question. Is it not concerning for a woman for you to take a picture of her license plate? I take pictures of cars all the time, so it, I would, answer it, my it, question. It, it, no, it, don't be a politician. It, 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 answer my, my question. It, it, See, you won't answer my question. No, no, no. No, we just like for me it's not uncommon. For me it's not uncommon for me to take a picture of somebody's car. I'm sorry, Rich. All right, man. For what for what you stand for? And what you're doing, you're talking to rights thing. It's a bunch of BS. So just it, go it, somewhere, it, it, take it, your it, pictures, it, 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 do whatever you got to do, but just get away from me. All right. All right so on that, I'm going to stand here until I decide yeah. I want to leave. See yeah. What I mean? okay. You have a great day. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. If you guys oh. do something else, let me know. Okay. All right. So you're, you're, let, you're taking picture of this. So this is a gentleman that talks about rights. Yeah, the rights. Okay. Yep. And he, he wants to stand on my sidewalk. Sure. He wants to make my wife uncomfortable. Your wife approached me, sir. She didn't have to get out of She didn't he have to come to here and she didn't have to get out of her car. Frauditors always want to shift the blame to everybody else except themselves. That's the sure sign of a narcissistic sociopath. But I bet you one thing, if that cop wasn't there, that guy would have already give him a smack down into the sidewalk. What do you think, good people? Why don't he you shut the hell my, up? He oh, okay, right. Shut up, Dale. Wait, wait, we're gonna, no, no, we're we can do that. We're going to end this. We're going to end this. He's going gonna, gonna to go in the building gonna and mind his own goddamn business. How's that sound? How's that sound, Dale? No, 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 no. How's that, how's that, how's no, 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 no. How about you go in your business, mind your own business? I'll, I'll stand right next to you. No, 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 no. I'll do whatever no, no, no. I want. You want, you want it. He wants to go to jail. Look at this. This is not worth not it, but we're not going to get Yo, I'm backing up because I'm afraid of you right now. We're not going to get into this, guys. <laughs> Come on. We're two grown adults here. Yeah, apparently. Come on, guys. Well, really? first off, he came up to I'm me with a beat red face and was about ready to beat me. You're making my wife afraid. Your wife didn't have to come in. She approached me. She walked 40 feet to approach me. Have a nice day, Dale. You mean plates like this, Dale? Yep, this is what I do. Jesus, Dale, how long you been here? Over 30 days, you gotta get a new plate. Surely it's over now, isn't it? No, not quite. Still got about seven minutes to go. We're going to look at the last 45 seconds. <laughs> Roll that clip. What do, you, what do I like, Dale? So this is the gentleman's vehicle. That's yeah, that's my vehicle. I, I, you know what? I, I never said that to your people. No, I didn't. I, I, no, I didn't. That's not what I said. There we go. After the, after, after, the, after the video comes out, 
There's the inside. After, the, messy, after, it? after the video comes out, you're going to see that's not what I said. You're going to look like an ass. Hole. And a dumbass. Yeah, whatever. Hey, you're a dumbass. Yeah, that was a long video, good people, about 42 minutes, but I finally chopped it up and we're done. There's a couple things you don't mess around with uh, with the man and his life, and one of them's his money, the other one's his wife, and this guy messed around with both of them. Man, he got lucky though. The cop saved his ass, didn't he? Oh yeah. Well, not to worry. If you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. Because as this video proves beyond the shadow of a doubt, stupid people are everywhere. Why harass a man's wife and his business at the same time? Please check out my website, drdave.media. You'll find a plethora of ignoramuses over there to entertain you. And if you need more entertainment, just type my name, Dr. Dave the Bunker of Frauditors, into your favorite search engine. You'll find all my social media platforms over there with the number one star. My number one boom boom boy. He loved you a long time, okay? Yeah, Shady Shade Ganiam, the goat herder from Chicago. Well, this lad needs a job in the worst kind of way. Can anybody help him out, please? Cheers to that. I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a, over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Really, no reason I'm, really, to have I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm going to arrest you for trespassing yeah, in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's jealous. She's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, you to record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the law. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. You assaulted She assaulted me. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Take a swing. Take a swing. You'll go to jail. Go ahead, put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. Salami hala handula. Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So, if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. You want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Sir, Why don't you take him out of here? Sir, you hit me. I'm gonna do you hit me. Okay. Sir, okay now you I'm take my picture. Then. I don't know you. I got a broken shoulder. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, you know, we need help getting hotels. I have been putting in job applications, and it's. I, I don't know any job where you walk up to it, fill out the application, and they hire you right on the spot. She spit me in my face right now. She spit in my face. Right now she spit in my face. I got a camera. $60, guys, is what we're trying to raise. So if you can help out, contribute towards it, feel free to donate, guys. I won't ever ask for money on this channel again. You touch my phone, you can't touch my phone. Okay? You touch my phone. Why did you touch my phone? She touched my property. Hey, what's up, guys? So we're here at the America's Best Value. Um, we're trying to get a room. I'm asking for help. Please, guys. I need y'all's help. You can't solicit a trespass, bro. You just solicited a trespass. I asked her what she wanted. No, you can't say, do you want them trespass? You can't use that line. She touched my phone. I got it on a video. I want to arrest her. I want to arrest her. I want you, you're gonna go to jail now. <laughs> We're a little low on funds, guys. Uh, so I want to make a quick video. If there's any way you guys can help out, uh, we're trying to get a room. 
I'm gonna pay it too, okay? Right. We're done already. I got two now videos. This is a public sidewalk. She touched me. She touched my phone, okay? okay. This is an expensive phone. This is almost 1200 okay? <laughs> Mrs. Potato's breaking my balls, everyone. <laughs> She's straight up breaking my balls. I will never beg you for it. I won't beg nobody for nothing. Please don't touch me. Step sir, outside. Sir, sir, what are you doing? Uh, I, what are you doing? Donate to the PayPal if you can help out. If you can't, I understand. PayPal link below. So if any of you would like to send me some money to help me out, I could greatly use it, but I'm not begging you for it. So just leave. I live here. Listen, you have a bipolar problem. How you feel? You're bipolar. You You're having a bipolar episode. I'm gonna keep everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button. You threatened me in my room like a little bitch. And if you want to take it to the street, we can do it. Let's 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 do it. So I was cutting the grass with a pair of scissors, just tidying up the. Instead of using a weed whacker, sometimes I use scissors because I'm really fast. Keep your distance, bitch. Keep you your swing, distance. Then, then go ahead. Keep you your distance, me, bitch. You me and that's your ass. Keep your distance, you bitch. I will sue you. You can sue anybody you want, anytime you want. Okay. If, if, if they do, I will sue him first because he's in charge. You're in charge, right? You're the guy in charge. You're the one who gets listed on the lawsuit.